Hey everybody. Yeah, I want to talk about about the pending recession that's coming up and how we're in the the twenties, right? And we cannot operate like we have been doing for the past twenty two years. I think the pandemic has pushed a change, but a lot of people have not changed, and that's a huge issue right now. And if you're not getting on board with technology and how money is being made with technology. Now things are shifting that way fairly quickly. I'm afraid that you're gonna really be asked to fuck out. You know, it's, I know it's hard to change. It is. It is not fucking easy, especially when you haven't kept up with the times. I, I know a lot of people who are kind of really just stuck in their ways. They're stuck for 20 years back in the past 15 years, you know, 10, even more. And, um, they just haven't incorporated the new things that are happening nowadays into their lifestyle. And this is where you're really going to have to start looking at baby steps and incorporating things. Like, I'm looking into digital products right now. How do I sell digital products? Um, how does my, my storefront look? Do I have a traditional website? Do I go through an app-based process where most people will probably be purchasing stuff from an app anyway? Do I draw them into that? How do I collect the information? And how do I, you know continue to give value to my future and existing customers. There's no other time like now to really get into the internet. I don't want you guys listening to anybody's thing. Everything's saturated, everything's saturated. You can carve your path out if you really truly want to, right? There's Home Depot, there's Lowe's, there's Ace Hardware, and there's a bunch of other small hardware stores around. No one's not, they're not going to a fucking hardware store. You have Walmart who sells everything under one fucking roof, but you still got big lots and you still got Target and you still have like a Costco. So, you know, you still have other businesses, right? You still have dollar stores. So that old adage of saying, oh, it's saturated. It's only saturated for the few who are not in it that's looking at it from a different perspective than the ones saying, fuck it. I love this particular category I'm going to be in. Is it going to be tough? Sure. But I'm going to go you know, carve myself out in a, a portion of that. And we're not doing that enough. You're going to have to really figure out exactly what niche you want to go after and focus on it and put time behind it. We're, we're such in a fast food type of when it quick, when it now mentality that the only thing that has not changed is putting time into something and building something. Are you putting your time into something and building it? That's when you're gonna see progress. That's when you're gonna start seeing where you're actually gonna make a difference, not just in your life, but in other people's lives with the product or service you're gonna provide people. You know, I, um, I'm looking to save what, maybe 10 to 12 grand and buy like a Prius outright, an older Prius, and put on Toro and start doing the whole Toro thing and uh, work and start doing that and see how much money I can make off of Toro. You know, um, in the future, I'm looking at buying you know, homes for Airbnb, you know? And um, my goal is to actually have a vehicle at the home so. If that person wants to book the vehicle in the home together, and I'm giving you guys this information for free. So once um, they have their home, they have a car there at Turo, and they can actually book the car in their home at the same time. And it, it does double dip, the car be ready, right, right there waiting for them already. And when they come back, they're dropping it back off at the home already. So that's really it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's an all-in-one service. <clears throat> so um, information, we have to share information. You know, because if you don't, then I don't understand what are we doing? You were hoarding all this great insight. And I get it. Listen, a lot of you are not going to do shit with this information. A lot of you are going to shake your head yes. A lot of you are probably taking notes down. A lot of you say, yeah, I'm going to make, make my first step. And then a week or two go by later and you're still bitching about the same issues that you have. These is, this is going to be for less than the 1% who's listening to this podcast and really saying, no, I'm going to hunker down. I'm going to go ahead and make this shit happen. And you have to, you, de you deserve to, you know what I'm saying? But you're going to have to start really 
understanding what it takes to, to really make things happen and being consistent. My biggest thing about me being consistent is writing shit down. I have horrible ADHD um, and what works for me is following a plan of attack and knowing exactly what I need to complete for each day. So Elon Musk has this time boxing um, scheduler that he uses, right? So it has top three priorities. He has a brain dump, right? So it's like it's a box for a brain dump where you write everything you need to get done for the day. And then you take the most, the three highest priority um, of those at that brain dump and you put it into the three priority boxes. Then there's a, there's a, there's a time slot. And then you fit in, you know, the three high priority ones you want to get done at the time you want to get them in. And then you put everything else underneath that based off of time, not so much off importance. So it's more of a completion tool, not so much of a, hey, at 6 o'clock, I got to do this. But at 6 o'clock, it's more of, okay, no way I can knock this out of 6, 15 minutes. Let me put it here in this bucket, here in this time frame. And I'm starting to use it, <clears throat> right? And um, it's dope because, let me see if I can show you. And the people who can't see because you're listening, you can see it on my course on my YouTube channel. And it looks like this. Hopefully you guys can see it. If I bring it in enough. Is that going to work? All right, there we go. So it looks like that. You know what I'm saying? Put the date, you take the time, your brain dump. It's a little, I have this background shit on. So, but um, I have it for free that I'm giving it out to everybody. Um, and the link will be in the bio. And, and the free download is a PDF. You can actually use it with good notes. That's what I have right here on my iPad where you can write it down on there. Um, and then continuing just, you know, like, you know, making a copy of it <laughs> and then writing it another one. Is, I'm giving it to you guys for free. Um, it's just, it's insane what you can do and how you just have to understand how the process works, how to promote shit. And, you know, so let's go over a couple of things right now. I'll give you guys an idea about Toro. You know, cars are expensive, I know. But again, you have to build up one thing at a time, right? So um, you can make some great money on Toro. I um, haven't done it yet, but I've been seeing the numbers and following a lot of people who have been doing it from scratch. And they, they I've been witnessing for the past year their freaking climb, which is amazing and great for them. Kudos to them. Secondly, it's a skill that, no, not everyone's going to be an entrepreneur, and I get that. You know what I'm saying? And not everyone's not made to be an entrepreneur. But behaviors and habits are never going to go away whether you want to be an entrepreneur or, you know, just have a great career. So if you want to go the career route, you want to really go ahead and look at going back to school. My wife is doing that right now. My wife, I'm not, in prior podcast, I'm sure I tell you guys, she's become a medical assistant. And... We are paying out of pocket for it. We have not taken a loan out for it. Because we said, you know what? Once she's done, we want to make sure that there's no debt. That's that's once she's done. So when she's done, it's done. The last payment's the last payment. There's no future payments coming now. So we took that sacrifice. I know a lot of people can't make that sacrifice. You might have to do the loan. You do what, what suits you best. Okay? But she's leveraging her skills after being a stay-at-home mom for over a decade. Right? And she knew that she had to develop some skills and she went after something that she was very really interested in and she loves it right now. Um, so go after something, but you're going to have to go back to school for it, whether that is a certification. Hers is a, a year-long certification and she will be state certified. And then her next go after that, you know, she said she wants to work in a, in a medical field for a little while, for maybe a year or two, and then she wants to go back. Her plan is to become a, a sonogram tech. Right? And that's like maybe I think 50 grand in a two year program and she'll get her associates from that. But that's her goals. That's her long term goals. But she's knowing she knows what it takes to do to get there. She knows she has to go through this first in order to get there and because she really wants to have knowingly knowing uh, uh, what she wants. And honestly, once she gets a job in the medical field that she's going to be going into, she may change her trajectory, which is fine. Yes, she has her goal of being a sonogram tech. But once she starts talking to other people in the industry, getting more familiar with the industry and, and seeing what she actually really loves because she's doing some of it, it may change. And that's fine. Your trajectory can change, but she's still staying in the same field, which is the medical field. 
you have to figure out what that's going to be for you, right? And go back to school and make the sacrifice. So no, you're not going to make money this year. You might not make money for the next year and a half while you're going to school or developing your skills. But think long term. I really want to try to help you guys to slow it down because the pandemic passed two years ago now. We're out of it. I didn't take advantage of that shit. I could have been making podcasts every fucking day. I could have been way bigger than I am now. I didn't do that. I sat on my ass and I got comfortable. I really fucking did. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what happened, but it is. It wasn't until after the pandemic that it's like, okay, now you have to really move your ass, get shit done. You know what? Your time is your time, but you gotta start understanding that you don't have a lot of time left, and every day does fucking count. I want to say right now, for the past thirty days, I've been going to bed between midnight to two o'clock in the morning every day, which is unheard of for me. I've, I've never really done that. I've always been like, by nine o'clock, I've usually been in bed. But I've been putting the, the time in of creating the digital products to making these the podcasts, to going to my TikTok, making videos, um, even to the point that I'm actually taking a, a, a course to code to develop a skill. Because who's to say this is actually going to work, right? I don't know. I want to make sure I have a backup and I am getting some new skills that's holding down today. You know, I'm just learning a front-end development. And I bought a course in Udemy. It was a $200 course. I got it for on cheap on super sale for 10 bucks, which is a fucking deal. It's a great fucking course. I actually highly recommend it by a lot of people I saw on YouTube. That's how I found the course. And it's a great detailed course. And I'm learning how to do HTML, coding. I'm going to learn how to do Python. And if I can get a gig at some tech company and get in and then make some bank, I'm fine with that. At the same time, too, I'm going to continue doing this. Like I said, and the goal is get a couple cars for Toro. When I get this couple cars from Toro, those cars are going to help me get the house I want to put on Airbnb. And then from there, that house will help me get a second, third home. And I'm continuing with the whole Toro thing to where I'm going to put a car in every home. I'm going to get economical cars from fuel. Fuel is not going down at all. So... I'm going to get economical cars so people feel comfortable. Hey, I'm going to put a gas in here. It's going to last a long time. And that's it. And go from there with it. Um, yeah, there's going to be maintenance cars. That's part of business, though, people. Like, you have a, you're going to have a home. You're going to have a car. Yeah. There's things called expenses in every fucking business. If I had a brick and mortar, I'd have to pay rent. Right? I would have to pay employees. Things doesn't change for expenses. So, again, if you're not an entrepreneur route, that's fine. Let's get you on the skill route. But the biggest thing is journaling. And I'm, again, the reason why I'm going down back to journaling is because it's writing stuff down. You got to write shit down, folks. You got to, you know, whether I don't care if it's a digital form on your iPad or it's a regular paper. I have both. I have this that I carry in my car every day, which is a, a small notebook. I have a pen in it and I have mad shit written in it, right? And I have my iPad. And if I don't have my iPad on me, then I'm writing in there, you know, any type of ideas. You know, just things that come into my head. And then I am transferring that to my journal. Right. And yeah, it takes some time. But again, you have time to carve out. You just choose not to. I haven't really watched any TV in, in about a fucking month or so. And I guess the first show I watched was fucking Shark Tank. I was folding clothes because you know, I had to help my wife around the house. So I was folding clothes. I said, no, I'm going to just watch Shark Tank while I'm folding clothes. Do two things at one time. I've been listening to podcasts. I've been killing books in the Audible. You know what I'm saying? So just consuming more knowledge, and then applying and putting action to it. So you can have a reaction to things, you can have a response to things. And you want to make sure you have fucking a response, not just a reaction. A reaction is like something that you just get motivated with real quick, and then boom, it's done. But other than that, you got to fucking make some shit happen for yourself. And with a true response, there's going to be detailed, thought out, the to-do list and tasks for you to really make it happen. But if you're not going to fucking make it happen then why are you wasting time listening to so many podcasts? Why are you wasting time consuming so much YouTube or TikTok and, and, you, and, you, and you're following folks and you get hyped but not hype enough to do something for yourself? The times are not just changing, they have changed. And you're fucking late to the party. But that's fine. It's fine being late to the party as long as you still make it to the party. 
But if you don't make it to the party, then you can't blame no one but yourself. And you can hear about the party the next day. So this is not to be a long podcast. This is really for you guys to really get some quick information, really detailed. I'm going to put the link in the bio so you guys can get the free uh, time boxing PDF. And you can also print it out too. So it's a PDF file. It's going to come, come in your email. You can uh, print it out or you can download it into your good notes. And once you have a good note, you can write on top of it. Like I said, make a duplicate and continue using it every single day. Um, guys, the, I don't know what else to tell you. You know, um, I'm just going to be explaining what the fuck I'm doing. You guys can follow my lifestyle, right? And I'm, I'm changing it. And I've had this podcast for a very long time, over 100 episodes ready. And I'm going to continue going on. I didn't, I didn't even celebrate my 100th episode. To me, it wasn't a milestone for me. You know what I'm saying? A milestone for me is when my my podcast is fucking successful and where I don't have to edit my shit myself. That's that's how I'm thinking. Like where I can actually employ someone to edit the fuck out of it and do a, and do that. That's why I know that. Okay, wow. You're successful when you can employ someone. I'm not considering myself successful because I have a certain number of podcasts. That don't mean shit. I want to make sure I'm successful where I'm monetized off of it and where I can actually hire someone to record me and edit it and work with that person to make it better. That's when I feel like, hey, you're coming along. Change up the way your mindset's going and the way you're thinking and change up your goals. But look at your goals and understand, yeah, that's it. But now what is the progress, the process you have to use to get there? Because once you get to the goal, you made it, it's done, what, what's next? Now, I'm completing so many different projects now. Now I actually have projects that I'm working on. And I suggest you start looking at your life at that as well. What project I'm going to work on to better me? And then put a timeline on that project of completion. So, you know, I got to put my ass to this because my goal is, my deadline is, is to finish it by the 18th. Put realistic deadlines though. Don't put too much time on shit because then you'll get lazy and procrastinate. Don't make too much tight of a deadline because you may get stressed out and have high anxiety. Find the right deadline, and as you continue making projects for yourself to do, you'll start understanding how long it's going to take you to get things done. Because now, you'll be sacrificing watching TV or maybe hanging out with folks that you don't really hang out with and using that time instead for yourself and, you know, watch yourself fucking grow. Garen fucking T. So, um, thank you guys. You guys are the fucking best. Until next time.